So, small PDF. This Chrome extension is going to allow you to convert certain documents into a PDF as well as convert PDFs into different types of documents. Uh, so, we're here at the Chrome Web Store where I've searched for and found small PDF. I'm going to add it to my Chrome. Add that extension. Okay, and so there it is in the upper right hand corner of my Chrome window, right? And when I click on the little jigsaw puzzle piece, I'm going to scroll down and I am looking for small PDF in here so that I can then pin it. Yep, there it is. I'm going to pin that so that it's on my extensions toolbar. I'll move that closer to the center so I can find it easily. It's nice and bright and colorful. I'm going to move my, my window over a little bit here so I can find what I'm looking for. All right, so I have a PDF that I'm actually going to convert into a Word document, and then I'll be able to open it up in my Google Drive and do some editing. Or I could do my editing right within Microsoft Word because I happen to have that. So what I'm going to do is click on the small PDF extension, and I'm going to scroll down to... I want to go from PDF to Word. And my file is over here on the right, my Boston Massacre item here. And here's what I can see here. I can see that I can convert it to Word. Uh, then we've got this convert to editable, editable OCR, which stands for uh, Optical Character Recognition. Uh, but it looks like you have to have a pro version, which I'm guessing you'd have to pay for. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to try out the Convert to Word and see if that works for us. And it looks like it is doing that conversion. Okay, I'm not going to do uh, this trial of the pro version. I'll move things over here. And now I'm going to download this document. And if I click on it down here at the bottom, it's going to open up in Word. Another option I could have, I believe if I scroll down, I can save it directly to my Google Drive. So uh, it's going to look to see if I can do, you know, if it wants me to do this. I can even, I guess, change it and go to a specific folder if I was looking for a folder. Uh, but I'm just going to upload it to my Google Drive and click Save. Okay, and so now I believe if I click on that, it's going to take me to this particular document. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it with Google Docs. And so when I do that, it might take a moment or two, but here I am. I've got my uh, Boston Massacre document that was a PDF, and now I'm able to go in here and edit things if I so choose. All right. So uh, this is just one of the many things that um, P uh, small PDF can do. Uh, we've got a lot of different items here. Sometimes uh, if you want to do an attachment of a PDF, sometimes they're rather large, so you could compress it. Uh, we just use PDF to Word. Uh, we have some other things, PDF to PowerPoint, PowerPoint to PDF, and so forth. Uh, so uh, this extension can be rather useful, especially for teachers who have a lot of their instructional materials as a PDF, or if they were to scan them from a photocopier uh, to make them all PDFs, but they still wanted to do some editing. Uh, so this can be very helpful. So I uh, hope you enjoy small PDF.